So trying my first ABS print, getting it up to heat. I'm going 240, 90 on the bed. Put glue stick down where it's going. I'm just printing two springs that I need for something I'm working on. So I'll get right back. Once it hits temp, it's only taking, um, oh, it hit temp. Um, I'm going to say five minutes, but I am kind of enclosed here. So we shall see how she does. Hopefully 90 is enough. I extruded some out of the nozzle and um, it's working really good using the G-Tech. There we go. Just leveled the bed and got the glue stick down. I'm doing brim. How's that looking? It's looking good. I'm just kind of worried that uh, I can't print with ABS, but we'll see. Find out. How's the temps doing? It knocked it down to 230 for some. Oh, yeah, because that's what I had it set at. Um, I'm going to go back to 240. Fan should be off. 90 degrees on the bed. You got to remember to set it to 240. I don't know. We'll see how this print turns out. Um, maybe I only need 230, but we'll see. So far it is looking good. I don't know why it's doing a little ziggy zag thing. Oh, I never mind, I know why it's doing a ziggy zag thing because I'm doing some springs. That's right. First I was like, is it broken? Oh man, this is gonna print good, I think. I've never used glue stick. I bought um, just a super generic uh, washable acid-free non-toxic. This was like a dollar ninety-nine. Pretty big, pretty big one. I got big hands, so it's a decent size glue stick, I think. <laughs> and I'm a mess. <laughs> All right. Well, um, no point in sitting here watching this. Um, I'll come back when. Uh, something's happening all right we're checking in see how she's looking those look like a couple of springs to me I just hope I can uh, get those suckers apart that's gonna be fun huh man what how long is this print this is a one hour five minute print so we will be back in an hour and five, hopefully. I'm not pushing the speed up, I'm just because I want them to be strong and hold up. Alright, so it is done, and I'm going to get it off here, clean the bed up, and we shall see if it is done right. Be right back. Alright, so it turned out amazing. The spring works super excellent, and there is no splitting super strong so the LK1 can and will print ABS but this is the first part of the test um, definitely not using um, a brim anymore because that is a pain in the butt to get this off of this ABS it is I like had to cut it off this one <clears throat> but I got it so um, yeah that I learned and um, let's do some harder parts so I got a mount 
and um, yeah, let's get that going on and see how it is for larger parts instead of uh, finer parts. We know we can do fine parts, so yeah. All right, so it looks like we are off to the races, and um, everything's stuck and nothing's moved, so um, we will catch you guys on the flip side. All right, so I'm gonna get these pulled off and get this thing prepped for um, my next test for a present I got going on for somebody else because this guy is a busy, busy beaver. And um, let's get some of these mounted and installed and see how they work. They feel freaking strong. Oh man, again, they're stuck on there pretty good. Okay, so BRB. This was just way too satisfying. Get these bad boys installed, huh? If I can find them all. Give it a test. If I can get my battery in it. There we go. I had to push pretty hard. Well, that's my charger's fault. It's not the hook's fault. And uh, one bad news is um, I thought this was a drill mount. But apparently, it's just a battery mount. <laughs> Which, I don't know why you'd have three screws in a battery mount. But, you know, whatever. So, I mean, they work. It's not going anywhere. So, right on. Now I just have to do, uh, as you can see, a lot more mounting. <laughs> but... One and done. I mean, I guess, you know, when I buy more batteries, I'll be okay there. So, 
Sweet. Um, as far as I can tell, uh, as far as the printing, um, I did see some bubbles. So definitely dry your uh, G Tech out beforehand. But other than that, it turned out pretty good. I got hair on there or something. Crazy. It feels kind of sticky. But that's probably because the glue stick that was on it, huh? <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, well, hey, at least I got one thing out of the way. And then um, this took its spot already, so I've got a lot more <laughs> to do. Um, so, yeah, um, peace out, bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you learned a little something. Um, so, the longer LK1 and the Applewise U20 can definitely do PLA or ABS, not PLA, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, it looks great. Like I said, other than uh, just, I wish I would have dried out the ABS a little more. Uh, printing it at um, 240 with a bed temperature of 90 seemed to just do just fine. But um, I guess I kind of have an enclosure because it's enclosed on three sides and the front's open. So, I mean, it's definitely possible. Like maybe if you're having trouble with it, just close three sides maybe. You know, the back and the sides, and you should be good, I would think. Uh, I'm in the basement, so it, you know, it's cooler down here. I mean, it's not 70, but, you know, it's close. So, there you go. Uh, hope this was helpful. Peace out, bye.